Can NET fix baldness? Obviously not. Well, the answer is actually yes and no. First of all, it depends on what kind of baldness we're talking about here. I've had two different types of baldness in my life, and NET actually did help to fix the first one. The first one was called alopecia areata, where I was losing hair in little circles about the size of a quarter. This was happening around this time, when my kiddo was very small and I was still running on estrogen. The bald circles were forming on the back of my head. I was freaking out and thinking about getting little eyeball tattoos in the circles, because you know what the man says, if you can't be inspiring, at least be disturbing. I reached out to my mentor, Dr. Scott, and he said, don't panic, just check thyroid and adrenals. So I checked the bases around thyroid and adrenals, went to my NET buddy, and sure enough, there was a ton of stress affecting those bases. Within just a couple of weeks of addressing these issues, the little bald circles began filling in again with hair. Problem solved. Now. This other kind of baldness, which got activated once I started running on testosterone, thanks great grandpa, was not the kind that can be fixed by NET. However, NET did fix a huge problem that showed up with the baldness. You see, I've never been that confident about my physical appearance, except for maybe one or two things. Like one, I think I have a reasonably good looking nose, and two, I generally felt good about my hair. When I was a teenager, my hair was the only thing I felt good about, as evidenced by this picture. So when I started to lose my hair in earnest, I kind of lost it. Some people who transition medically actually turn back if their hair starts to fall out. It can be that traumatic. Turning back was not an option for me, but this loss hit me hard, right in the feels. And I'm a 5 on the Enneagram, so I barely even have any feels. I started to lose sleep over it, and one night I just started sobbing like a baby. I was only around 40 years old, and I thought, shit, who in the world is going to love me now? Nobody falls in love with a middle-aged potato head. I didn't have the beard yet. I felt like the romantic era of my life was over. It was awful. Fortunately, just a couple of weeks after the sleepless, sobbing, baldy night of despair, I went to an NET conference. During one of the workshops, my friend, Dr. Brian Ormond, asked me what was going on. Brian is extremely intuitive and you can't play dumb with him. He is also a fellow bald guy and I felt stupid for fessing up that I was in the pits of despair just because I was about to join the same club. But Dr. Ormond, being a seasoned NET pro, knew that whatever was going on with me wasn't really about the outer baldness. It was about something going on inside of me that the baldness represented. Sure enough, the horrible feelings really traced back to some traumatic events coming from around age 7 relating to my physical appearance and people's judgments around that. Once I got treated for that issue, I felt more at ease about losing my hair. Still wasn't happy about it, but I wasn't losing sleep over it anymore and it just didn't bother me that much. And then, just about two weeks later, I suddenly had a new cute partner in my life. Of course, that partner turned out to be a real pain in the ass, but that's the human condition, and that's another story. Um, the point is, I was no longer triggered by the baldness as a reason why I could not have love in my life. So I guess it also helps that I grew a beard, which is kind of like the push-up bra for men, but all this happened before the beard. So the moral of the story is, yes, NET can help, but not always in the way that you expect.